Hi besties, welcome to my channel. I want you to watch this video together with me, then we we'll come back to it. I remember being called out by my pastor to the altar in front of congregation. He called me out, me and two other people that we are not going to finish school. I was, I think, 16 or 17 when he called us out and it was like, we are going to get pregnant, we are not going to finish school. Da, 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 da. But I I remember <laughs> I remember getting home and I cried. I mean I cried. My mom cried. I wasn't even that kind of that type of child. Like I'm not that kind of person. At, at that time I was this church girl do you know. But you know when people have their favorites and it's fine. I got home and I cried. My mom cried we prayed like this prophecy on my life must not come to pass i cried so much like parents literally told their children to stop being my friend because of that prophecy because they feel like because of that prophecy i prophecy i might in i might spoil their children too looking back now with with this all i just want to say is thank you jesus because i can't imagine that prophecy coming to pass see having a child is not a bad thing but i mean i'm this kind of person that I, since when i was young i wanted to go to school i wanted to you know and my mom was always supporting me for me to now be called out and be told that we get pregnant without going to that school that my mom wants me to go that I love so much it means a lot in my life at that point I just want to say thank you God for this that girl that they say we get pregnant we not get pregnant though I'm a graduate now <sighs> it's so disheartening to say the least you know when we come out to say things that are real that are actually factual and we're trying to liberate a lot of people they begin to fight us a lot of people are running with their life with false prophecies with false doctrines with man-made doctrines doctrines of wolves doctrine of wickedness that's what they are running with now you see this young lady right here she chose not to allow those prophecies upon her life she lost, she must have lost friends. She must have loved, lost her self-respect, her self. Her, everything about her must have just been damaged. But you see, God came through for her because she prayed and said, no, I must be a graduate. And I say no to wrong prophecies. Now, there are a lot of people that are under the voice of a false prophet or under the voice of someone that has got so much bitterness and that, that wants to sweep the poor of their hard-earned money. And we come up with all sorts of prophecies Prophecies of doom, be careful. This is why we come out to speak, not because we want to attack the church. No one are attacking the church. If they should put like 100 pastors down, it will shock you that to get five, five that is preaching sound doctrine, five that is truly following Jesus Christ, I'll, I'll save you. It will be very difficult. Just know this and no peace. Nobody's att attacking the church. Learn. Some of you, you have gotten into wrong marriages because of your pastor said, my pastor said. Have you asked yourself what God has said about that particular thing? Have you bothered to ask yourself what God thinks, the mind of God concerning that thing you're doing, that journey you're embarking on, that decision you're making? No, but my pastor said, my pastor said. Now this lady would have been a product of wrong prophecies. Remember they called out a lot of females there and this one came out to testify that she graduated. What about the rest? Some of them must have lost hope because of one wrong word upon your life. Remember, it's just one word from God that can change your life. And The same one word from a false prophet can take you from the reality of the cross. The finished work of Christ can take you away from there and just dump you right in the pit where the devil wants you to be. Be mindful. Beware of false prophets. They exist. They are real. And your pastor could be one. 